Working hard, are you? Who? You. Well, I will be, mate, once this lot gets started. You're not looking forward to it? Well, I never look forward to trouble, mate. Oh, I see you made your mind up, have you? They're going to be trouble. Well, let's put it this way. I intend keeping an eye on them. You're not a flaming doddle, you are, you know that. <laughs> You the riding master? That's right. Do you need any gaff lads? It depends. The ground manager usually looks after that side for me. He had three come this morning. Is that right, Mick? Oh, aye, but he only took one of them on. How oh, come? Oh, he said the other two weren't for us. Not fair ground. They've been working for the Caspers. How about you? I've been a gaff lad for three years now. What outfit? Oh, several. I travel around a bit, you know. I don't like to be tied down. How about Caspers? You haven't been with Caspers? No, I haven't. But why not, Gov? Seek ground manager. It's that green caravan. And tell him I sent you. Dog, mister. A dog? It's like a damn great wolf to me. He's the best guard dog you ever see, mister. How much? Twenty quid. Twenty what? He's worth it, mister. <laughs> not to me, he's not. I can see from your face you're a man who appreciates a bargain, mister. I'll try me. If you can take him, you can have him. No charge. You can't? You pay me 20 quid. You're on. Be careful, Dad. Right, come on. Oh, oh, come, on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Sean. So you keep that thing on a short lead until it's trained. Oh, my wife will soon have him squared up. Your wife will? Uh, yes, I come from circus people. Got away with animals, she has. Wait, hey, Sarah! Here. Yo, thank you. Uh, where'd your dad put that other new gaff lad? On the octopus. Right. Get cracking over there. Anything you want, Constable? No, oh, just passing. Always glad to see a uniform. You even sound as though you mean it. I do, when we're open. I don't want no trouble on my side. I like people to bring their kids. Oh, I'm glad to hear this. Oh, uh, there is one thing. Mm. So you get a license for that wolf. It'll be on his collar. Why not inspect it next time you're passing? I will. Hey, you the lad that started today? Yeah. Been told to work with you, lad. OK. Why not? She was in the car with the governor. His daughter, is she? Hey, check the other side. She's not for you, chum. First bloke who touches her to be her husband. And he won't be a gaff lad. Is that a fact? Made a friend there, Jack. Uh, they're all awkward for a start. He'll come round. Mm -hmm, not that one. Hey, uh, what's that all about? Here, let's have a look. Hmm. A young girl's been attacked near the fairground. Don't do that, Sarah. Well, what's wrong with you, Roseanne? Well, there's nothing wrong with me. I just don't enjoy being mauled. Well, who's mauling you? I want to marry you, that's all. I've asked you a dozen times already. Keeping calm. Then why don't you give me an answer? I've given you an answer. <laughs> Not the right one. Uh, 
Anyway, your dad reckons it'll be a good idea. Oh, you've discussed it with him, have you? Well, it came up. Decided which ride he's going to give us for a wedding present. Here, you won't get the dodgems out of him, you know. The swirl, I don't know why it's so touchy. And my family will give us a caravan and a generator. Oh, you've talked to them too about it, have you? I promise you, you'll want for nothing, Rosa. Hey, why don't you come inside? We'll talk about it. <laughs> your father would approve of that, wouldn't he? You're scared of him, are you? Yes, I am. Charmaine. Keep it going. Let him off. Steady, man, steady. Trap away. He's up in that aeroplane machine. It keeps going round and round. There's three men fighting. Fighting? Panda 4 to Newtown. Go ahead, Panda 4. Off watch, Sarge. Investigating a disturbance in the fairground. Do you need assistance? Well, I'll let you know. Right, which way, Mark? Come on. See that. Try again. Nothing you did get involved in. I'll be the judge of that. Now, what happened? When? Don't waste my time, son. A punch-up, was it? Look, they were just getting boisterous. Boisterous, missus? It's a ruddy mess. Come on. Oh. It's 
said about you, didn't they? Oh. Now look, sunshine. You can answer the questions here or down at the station. I'm easy either way. Look, I don't want no bother. Recognize the other two, would you? How could it? Well, if you let him answer, Mrs. Stevens, I might find out. Look, the lad says he doesn't want any bother, so why can't you eat him? Where's your caravan? I don't have one. Well, where do you sleep? Come on. Uh, we can manage, thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Right, son. What's your name? Perry. Perry what? But you want the truth? I caught a couple of fellas trying to break into the swag van. OK. Swag van? Yeah. The van with the prizes stored for the sideshows. And? I tried to stop them and they set about me. What, over by the jets? But they didn't get nothing, so let's just leave it at that, all right? The sooner you marry Sarah, the better. Who oh, for? Everyone. He's not said anything. At least not that I heard. Oh, that fool of a ground manager getting us into all this. He couldn't have known. Why not? I damn soon did. And if I mess with him, my God, Jack, I wish you'd learn to control your temper. Oh, you want his sort round here, do you? But of course I don't. I want shot of him. Right, well, leave me to deal with it. When? Well, that copper's nosing about. But then I will. In a day or two, I promise you. He'll not chance his arm round here again. But when I've done with him. There's no sign of a break in there. Yeah, well, I must have caught him for I got too far, mustn't I? So, as I see it, there's been an attempted robbery, you've been assaulted, and you don't wish to make a complaint. Yeah, that's right. Pull the other one, son. That we can take care of our own affairs. Oh, yeah. Sort of loan to yourselves, are you? A tradition with you. What do you call yourselves? Showmen. Showmen. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, let's get those cuts seen too, son, before they turn septic. On your way. Do you reckon he'll tell them? Ah, uh, stop worrying. He won't want to get involved with law. Well, I told the sergeant I wasn't happy, but uh, no need for CID. Not happy about what? Well, what are you doing here if you don't know? I'll tell you why I'm here, Fred, since I need your cooperation. We've just had an AD message on a young girl who was attacked and raped. According to the powers that be, everything suggests that it was somebody connected with a fun fair. What, this one? No, any one of 200 fairs up and down the country. 200? Tired of sitting on your backside? This is a fair, isn't it? It's on our patch, isn't it? Hey, any information on him? Vague. Young, strong, well built. From what I've seen in gaff lads, they'd all fit. Oh, I think it's a gaff lad, do they? You see, the real showman always sticks with the same outfit. This fellow's been all over the place. It's his fourth assault, each time a different fare. It's more or less got to be casual help. Could be. He must have taken fancy to you. Who? That copper. He's on his way over. Oh, no. Hey, come on, man. And four assaults. I mean, they're asking for it, aren't they? Hanging about here night after night. They're only school kids, most of them, you know. You know, if I didn't need you for cover, Fred, I'd blow you out so fast. God, you're thick. Me? Thick? Your little investigation, it's my cover. If that fellow is round here, and he knows I'm going round asking questions, I'd be off like a whippet. So, OK, the local tarts would be safe, but he'd be off somewhere else. My chance of unmasking him single-handed would be blown. Oh, I'm not too thick to help you make sergeant, then. You're prejudiced, that's all. Prejudice. Mars, you're thinking. OK, these birds aren't round here, but can't you see what that means? Yeah, they're asking for it. Exactly, they're easy. Therefore, Dirty Dick's got no real reason to attack them, has he? Because he can get whatever he wants without. A psycho? There's something wrong with him, that's for sure.
will you? Do you want them to hear you? Hear what? Ghosts! Mr. Bones! Oh. Catch me, I'm gonna be hard put to explain why I'm hiding, aren't I? Explain what? You got into a fight, didn't you? Didn't rob a hey, bank. Shut up! Who's the other bloke? That's what I was wondering. Did he say he was coming back? No. Oh, this fuss over the punch up doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, there's more to it than that. You did rob a bank. I told him there was a break in. What for? To get him off me neck. Oh. I could be anywhere. Do you mean here or in the universe generally? Your CID, you tell me. Suppose this Jack Stevens could help us. No. Oh, he gave him a job, didn't he? Must know something about him. Well, I was here when he gave another gaff lad a job. Yeah? All he asked then was, uh, had he worked for a fella called Casper? Casper? Yeah. Rival firm, I suppose. Yeah. Is that worth a try? Why not? Ah. Yeah. God! <laughs> <laughs> what a way to live! Well, there's lots worse, mate. All over your new suit. <laughs> Uh, can we come in for a minute? Uh, you're welcome to come in. Oh. Just as long as you take your boots off first. I'm not having mud all over my carpets. You two. Take your boots off? Take them boots off. You're not coming a step further unless you do. For you. Oh, Mr. Stevens, hey. uh, Detective Constable Braithwaite. Yeah. How do you do? Well, sit you down, sit you down. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Stevens. Oh. There's, uh, there's a bit of trouble here last night with one of your gaff lads, uh, Perry. Any chance of a word with him? Help yourself. You don't need my permission. Well, any idea where we can find him? I wouldn't know. Have you, uh, have you tried the bunk wagon? Yeah, it's not there. We don't know where he is. Important, is it? Well, he said someone tried to get at the swag. Swag? Yeah. He didn't report it to you, then? Oh, no reason why he should. Swag's for side stalls, nothing to do with me. How long has he been here? Come yesterday. Yesterday? All right, Meg? Uh, first thing. Do you know anything about him? How do you mean? Before you took him on, where he came from. All I have to know is the whether he can work rides. Can he? No complaints. Well, he's experienced, then. He's worked fairgrounds before, like. Can I offer you a drink? No, thanks, Mr. Stevens. I won't keep you. Yeah, I won't mind a cup of tea. Uh, if it's not too much trouble, Mr. Stevens. Of course not. Meg. The constable said he had great difficulty getting a straight answer out of this gaff lad. Did you find that? They ask no questions and we ask none back. That's convenient. It's the way things are. Oh, yeah. Look, if I started asking questions, I wouldn't have a gaff lad on this place by opening. You've all got something to hide, have we? Some people can't abide rules and regulations, you know what I mean? Well, who does? That may be. But you accept them, don't you? Now, these fellas won't. Every morning at nine sharp, they knock on that door for a two-quid sub. Spent up? Oh, no, no. 
No, they might have as much as, oh, 30 quid in their pockets. But still they come, regular as clockwork. Why? Well, if the fit takes them, they can uh, clear off. Not lose a week's pay? You've got it. That's the way they are. And nothing you can do is going to change them. You gonna ask him about the photo, sir? What? Well, I thought that's why we were here. I mean, it's uh, more usual to boast about people in high places than... You stay put. Sir. You wouldn't believe he was a rich man, would you? Rich? Take a look around you, lad. Look at all this equipment. Jack Stevens must be worth a quarter of a million. Lucky for him, he's not a copper, sir. Luck doesn't come into it, lad. He started with a kiddies roundabout, now he's a riding master running his own fares. Sound as though you'd admire him, sir. Oh, I do, Render, I do. He's worked for what he's got. Hard. Country could do with a few more like him. As long as they don't all think like he does, sir. He's alone to himself. We'll be making the showman of you yet, Bird. You may just at that. <laughs> yeah, you're not the air official, are you? Can't be. Be wearing my uniform, else. Yeah. Well, that policeman of yours is wearing his. Hey, you don't usually object to seeing a few uniforms about, Jack? Well, it's not the uniform that worries me. It's the bloke that's inside it. How come, eh? Well, looking for trouble, you know what I mean. We haven't got any trouble, have you? Oh, of course not. Good. Glad to hear it. I mean, that's the last thing we want, you and I, isn't it? Trouble. It's always been a prime saint for you, this, hasn't it? You've never given me a no trouble, have we? Never let you give any, have we, Jack? <laughs> come on. Ah, no. Now, look, I'm going down the far end. How are you coming? No, I'll, uh... I'll pop in and say hello to me. Yeah. And say to she. Yes, yes. Right. Come on, then. Off you. Uh, uh, hello, Bert. Come in. <laughs> hello, Meg. How are you? <laughs> you did jack proud that night, Meg. I should have done that outfit cost enough. Still, once a year, eh? And all the other showmen's waves there too, eh? Well, Jack was on the committee, wasn't he? Been having a bit of trouble together, Meg. Oh, if you can call it trouble. Got anything I can help with? Oh, nothing worth bothering Inspector about. Oh, you'd be surprised what bothers Inspectors, Meg. Yes. Well, I think you'd have something better to do than worry about a bit of petty thieving. Oh, that's all it was, was it? Just petty thieving? you think it was more the fuss your copper was making. Oh, well, he's keen. I like my lads to be keen. Even if it means wasting your time? Never a waste of time visiting old friends. Cheers, Meg. Here's mud in your eye. Ozan. Hey, Ozan. Perry, you must be crazy. Hey, you know what'll happen if anyone sees you? Nah, I don't care. Here, I want to give you this. What is it? Go on, take it. Go on, open it. <gasps> Put it on. I thought she were like you, beautiful. Get her off. No, you are. You're beautiful. Well, you must have been going round with your eyes closed, then. 
I reckon they had till I met you. This is beautiful. Thank you, Perry. I love you. Perry, Perry, please go. I don't want you to get hurt again. Only if you promise to meet me. No, I can't promise. What's the matter? Don't you want to? Roseanne! Sorry about that, Gov. They just slept. Those three quids were there at least. I want the money. Now. Take it out of me subs, will you, Gov? I'm a bit short this way. You'll be skint altogether if you're not more careful. Clear that lot up. Berlin's still here? Yeah. It's one of that cafe, lad? Yeah. Huh. Hey, want some help? Ah, uniform might put them off. Your name Perry? No. Try him. Jack. I understand you were involved in the fight here last night. I told the other copper to forget it. It's not as simple as that, lad. Inquiries have got to be made, facts checked. I told him the fact. Did you? Yeah. You tell me. Some other time, I'm busy. Always working fairgrounds, have you? Yep. Where? All over. Where were you before you came here? All over. Any of these? I dare say. I'll take the most recent. Look, is this all really necessary? What's the matter? Have you got some reason you don't want us to know where you come from? How about that one? Rugby. Yeah, we're there. And this? Which one's this? You can't read, can you, son? Well, we're of it. That's all right, lad. Carry on with your work. You get nothing from them. Can't read. But you're such a scholar yourself, are you? That's the way they want to live. They don't. What do you mean? They don't want to live like that. They come here after leaving school, they're outsiders. Only the showmen are born and bred into the business. So what's the attraction, then? Because it can't be the money. <laughs> Quick. How come? Ten bulbs in October. The governor made me pray for them. <laughs> you must be out of your mind trying to show Miss Corner. What is it with you, virgins? Oh, no offence, Lay. Talk about a short fuse. Look, all I meant was that. Uh, the showman's daughter's guaranteed her touch, right? But so are some of these, despite appearances. 
take that blown one, for instance. Would you like me to fix you up, eh? Haven't you, love? How? How'd you do it? I, I slipped. Slipped, did you? How, love? I, I slipped. Well, where? Over there. You all right, love? She just went. He should have hung on to her, mate. Look, she said she just slipped on one of the machines, right? You don't believe that, do you? You don't get brambles on the back of your dress falling off machines. <sighs> Look, whatever happened, she wasn't going to lay a complaint now, was she? Well, I know what happened, mate. Do you? Yeah, and you should have hung on to her. Look, I told you she went. Look, she was probably underage, right? Probably more scared of her father finding out than anything. You'd probably give her a club in, right? Well, that's not getting us any nearer to nailing this bloke, is it? If it is him. You oh, sorry, mate. Get the knock off now. Hey, you! Who are we, sir? Where's the gap, lad? Which one's that, then? Name's Perry. Oh, him. Yeah, him. Well? But he's not here. So where is he? He's having his break. When did he go? A while back. 15, 20 minutes is. Excuse me. Hold on, Squire. What have you done to your face? I slept on a jet. I got too cocky so you took liberties. It doesn't do to take liberties. You get hurt. Perry there. I'm awake, wouldn't I do? I was just joking, I'm just joking. Hey, buddy! Shh! Don't make so much noise! Come away with me, Rosanne. Come away with me. They're never gonna let me stay. You know that. They'll kick me off the site the first chance they get. No, I'll talk to them. I'll explain. They won't listen. We don't have a chance. Well, at least I can try. They'll marry you off to Sayer, and I'll never see you again. I won't marry Sayer. Yeah, well, that's what you think now, but they'll get their own way in the end. Look, I love you, Perry. Then they'll have to accept that I won't never marry anyone else. Come away with me, then. Where? Anywhere. At least we'd be together. Look, be sensible, Perry. You realise you'll never work a fair again? I just want to be with you. The rest don't matter. Honestly. We'd manage. Well, we'll have to pick a time when I won't be missed. And floral tributes were sent by Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Arthur, Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Bowles, Mr. and Mrs. 
Simon Casper, Miss Susan Casper. What about ours? I haven't got to the S's yet, Jack. Casper, uh, Casper, 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 Casper. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Marshall Harvey. He's beating us to it, sir. Right, wait. Right, you know where this party clips. Go and fetch him, sir. You've had it, mate. That copper and another one. Looks like his boss. Ow. Go on somewhere. Right, bring him through. He was all ready to make a break for it. Ran straight to me arms. Lucky for him. I think now the station was some question, eh, sir? I think we'll find out a bit more about him first, shall we? Well, I could do that best back there. Meg, get the detective constable a cup of tea, will you? Maybe that'll quieten him down a bit. Right. Now, let's see, Render. Never did get his surname, did you? No, sir. Perry was all he said. Don't know your surname, is that it, Perry? How about you, Jack? Me? Know the lad's surname? Why should I? You gave him a job, didn't you? My ground manager took him on. So he must have a name, then? No need. No need? No. And we didn't ask him how many back teeth his grandmother had, either. Wouldn't have had to ask, would you, Jack? Casper. That's your name, isn't it, lad? Perry Casper. OK, then, so his name's Casper. So what? He could still be the gaff that I'm making inquiries about. Wrong again, Emily. You are? He isn't a gaff lad. Boom! Paddy sent me. Why? What's wrong? It's the Lord again. He won't be long. He's told me where to wait. Come on, then. So put the case down. He won't be long. But I should put the case down. What about the lad, Meg? Tea? Not under my roof. No Casper's gonna sup at my table. And that, Braithwaite, is what this is all about. Eh? Hey? Before this lad's father was even born, grandfather too, come to that, the Caspers and the Stevens both ran fairs. Now, there was no showman's guild in them days. Showman's guild, sir? To regulate the bookings, lad. So the fairground families used to fight each other for the best sight, isn't that right, Jack? The Caspers and the Stevens in particular. Not Stevens. They had their own grounds. It was Caspers that tried to take over. Never it was the other way around. The great granddad were there, he knew the truth. You see. What the hell were a Casper know about the truth? I mean, look at you now, coming here pretending to be a gaff lad just to get at our Roseanne. Oh, Roseanne, is it? Now, that's the bit of the jigsaw I never could fit in. What he was doing here? I knew he wasn't a gaff lad. Oh, aye, because I couldn't read. Look, sir, what is read got to do with it? Give me the clue, Brithwit. That's what CID works all about, isn't it? Clues. I mean, a showman's son will be too busy on the rides to get much schooling. By the time he's 11, he'd be a skilled mechanic, carpenter, engineer, you name it, he can do it. But reading, now he'd leave that to his sisters, wouldn't you? Yeah, but how did you know who he was, sir? That's where you met Rosanne, isn't it? Take it at the last showman's dinner, Listen, render. she feels the same as me. Not on your life. My Rosanne would have no truck with a Casper. If you finish, Bert, I want him out of here. Brithwit, 
I haven't even started yet. Go ahead. Look, can he ask me later on? I mean, I'm in a bit of an hurry. I bet you are. Where were you ten o'clock last night? On the jet. So chance, son. I came out to see you. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah? It's not what your mate said. Who? The other gaff lad. He said you'd gone off earlier. He was lying, I suppose. Yeah, he were. He were the one that were missing. Missing where? How should I know where? With some blonde bird. He were chatting up, probably with her. Hang about, blonde girl. What is it, Render? Well, that girl who was a taxer. She was a blonde. Was she now? Look, ask Rosanne if you don't believe me. I mean, she know what time I left. Strange what some people do for kicks, don't you think? I suppose so. No, when you think about it, Joe old bit. Fairs and all of it. Strange. Going round in circles, getting scared and bashing up dodgems. Haven't you ever thought? It was harmless enough. Getting rid of their frustrations. They just want an evening out. Oh, I see. How do you get your kicks, eh? Did Perry say how long he'd be? Not for him to say, really, is it? Depends on the police. How'd you get his kicks? Ah, Perry, eh? You mustn't go. Well, you mustn't disappoint our Perry. Not yet, at least. Do you know, I reckon he still believes in love and bliss. <laughs> Poor old Perry. He's an innocent, did you know that? An innocent. He doesn't realise you let him down. What are you on about? Women. You're all the same. You're all promises. And when it comes to it, you're nothing but a letdown. You flaunt yourselves. Come and get me. It'll be wonderful. And the idiot believes you. The idiot really believes it'll be wonderful. You're sure she said here? Yeah, I'm positive. She couldn't have misunderstood. She suggested the place herself. She's not in a caravan, sir. Uh, there's no sign that other fellow in the bunk wagon, Bartlett. Did this Bartlett have heard you making arrangements? Well, it's possible. What do you mean, possible? Good or good not Calm down, he? Jack. Calm down. The lad's as anxious as you are. Now, concentrate, lad. Is there anywhere else they could be? Yeah, the ghost train. Yeah, he had me there once. Come on, then. Come on. Hang on to him. Right. Oh. Don't let him out of your sight! Come on. Going on. What do you think? I should go out with a finger like you. you should go out with anybody, won't you? It's all yours. Mine? Oh, what else? It's a CID matter. Bring him in. Thanks very much. My pleasure. <laughs> what happened to you? Lost my temper. I walloped him. Sorry. Yeah, it's my fault, sir. I asked for it. Oh, nobody punches a copper and gets away with it. Especially not one of mine. Book him. Sir, come on. See you at the next dinner, Bert. Provided I get an invite. Uh, you're being asked now. I'll tell you what, Jack. I'd prefer an invitation to a wedding. All you're after is a bottle of champagne. Bottle, Meg? Bottle? Magnum. The two richest families in the business, Magnums, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Reckon I can be a police escort, sir, to let them wed. You wouldn't want it, Renner. Well, I don't see why not, sir. Don't you? With an army of Stevens in one corner and an army of Caspers in the other. <laughs> All I hope is they don't decide to have the ceremony on my patch. 
that it then, sir? Yeah, that's it. I've had enough of the Montagues and Chaplets for one day. Eh? You and me to school, lad. Romeo and Juliet. Thank <laughs> you.